And now to a story you'll see only on ABC7. And I was nervous because I was by myself. Well, tonight we are hearing from the man captured here on our ABC7 camera earlier this week, helping de-escalate a situation that could have ended tragically. The off-duty D.C. school officer stepped in after a crash that led to a fist fight and then a gun pulled. ABC7 D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford, was he was out on a different story, and this all happened right in front of him. Sam joins us now live from Southeast with more. Sam? Yes, Allison, it is basically just as you say. We're standing here, we see a crash, and then people fighting, a gunshot, and we're wondering how long it's going to take a cop to get here as we're making calls, and then a car drives up, pulls up. A young man in plain clothes, obviously <laughs> civilian clothes, steps out with a gun and puts a stop to that situation. He was a D.C. public schools police officer, and today we met Shamari Oden. Watching the cars turn around, I knew something serious was going on, hearing the gunfire. Shamari Oden is a D.C. public schools police officer, off-duty Tuesday afternoon when he realized there was trouble ahead at Southern and Branch Avenues, no on-duty officers around. A Tahoe had intentionally bashed a Lincoln Town car full of kids and fled. Two men in the street were fighting over a pistol and two women involved. And I was nervous because I was by myself. You know, and then as I was trying to be aware of my surroundings, um, you know, I saw everyone pulling out their camera phone. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! As I drew my, my firearm on him, he kept yelling and screaming to me, officer, please don't shoot, please don't shoot. It's not even my weapon. DC charging documents say it was a result of two families feuding. The mothers of both fighters were also said to be on the scene. Odin said he'd seen the cars chasing each other, but when he arrived, it stopped. Minutes later, Prince George's police officers were first to arrive, and they took control. We asked the DCPS officer if he feels good about what he did. I do kind of feel good about it because um, even after finding out um, the entire situation, um, that the guy that I actually drew my weapon on turned out to be the victim. That man, Gary Campbell, was not charged. The other, Christopher Davis, faces a gun charge. Police later found the clip he took out of the gun that Campbell had taken away from him. And when we come back at 6, we'll hear how Odin reacts to uh, social media and uh, acquaintances' reaction to this video, which became quite well-known around this area. Reporting live from Southeast Washington, I'm Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. All right, Sam, we'll see you at 6.